In this video, we'll see how to attack an Android mobile phone from Kali. For this purpose, I have installed an Android virtual machine on my computer here. You can easily go to osboxes.org, then VM images, VirtualBox images, and install the latest Android virtual machine. You need to have VirtualBox installed. You just have to import the virtual machine you've downloaded, and you'll end up with something similar to this environment here on the screen. From the Kali perspective, we will actually create a malicious APK file, malicious Android application file, and we will send it to the end user, which is the victim in this case. And once the victim installs and opens this application, it will create a connection between this mobile phone and our So, For this purpose, we will use a command called msfvenom, which is actually a combination between the msf payload command and msf encode command and we will create a payload under android interpreter reverse tcp now we will specify the ip of our server here it's 211.142 and a local port as well now we will export this to root desktop and we will call it for this purpose for this tutorial trojan.apk of course in a real world scenario you can call it any fancy name that invites the user to open up and install the application you can see here that it's in the process of creating this apk file and here you go now we just need to move this file from your Kali machine to the end user. You can do that using various techniques such as social engineering. For this purpose, I've just copied the file from this machine to my phone here. And you can see it under, under the download section. That's it, Trojan APK. On the other hand, now we need to create a listener on our server that will listen to this incoming connection after you launch Armitage just go here and write Android now go to the payload section and double click on reverse TCP you will see that the IP is automatically populated now we only need to match this local port here with the port that we've created uh, we've used when we've created the APK file just press on launch and Armitage will start the handler locally and now it's waiting for connections on this port i will go now to my android device here and go to the download application actually i've moved my application from kali to the android file here and you only need to install it just the usual stuff so just notice here when I press on open now on my Kali machine the Metropreter session is opened and it shows me here an Android or a Linux based device has been compromised now I have full access to the remote Android phone it's well noting and it's worth noting that uh, we're doing this in a lab here, but actually you can use it over the internet using your real IP and port forwarding. So just right click on this compromised machine and you can actually interact here using a Metropreter shell. Just type help and you'll see all the commands that you can invoke. You can as well explore and browse the files that exist on this phone. Just write this forward slash and you'll have access to the root and you can check out all the files here let's see if we can do something here and just go to the SD card and I can spot here a password file just double click on that or oh, no let's do that again a storage file here SD card I can right click on that and press on view and I'm able to see personal hotmail passwords Gmail work account and some credit card pins a 
if I go again to the interpreter session as I did earlier with the type of the help you can invoke a couple of commands should such an interesting command will be dump contacts it will search for the contacts on the phone and it will dump them locally on a file so it has it found like 787 contacts and it listed them here so let's go check out this file update my database and I'll try to locate this file here you go now I'll open that using leafpad and here you go lots of accounts with phone numbers emails etc going back to Armitage again another interesting command would be dump SMS but since this is a virtual machine there are no SMS found but if you're doing a real world attack you will be able to get all the SMS's as well as webcam snaps using this command of course this virtual machine doesn't have webcam and you can as well search for files like I want to search let's do a star dot star here this is some of the results if I do like star dot txt or maybe star dot doc nothing here so actually yeah, the point I'm trying to make here is that now you have full access to this mobile phone and you can do whatever you want